guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, my hair is just dry, but driving, drying. I'm about to head to work in a short little while. It's like 8.30 right now. And I just wanted to do a first impressions on the Body Shop Down to Earth palette that I got the other day. So instead of getting one of the pre-made ones, I decided to make one myself. In the pre-made ones, there were like two shades I liked and the other two I wasn't really a fan of or they weren't what I was looking for. So I just put one together. So they're meant to be put in a palette. They don't come, they come in individuals and they don't come with a lid so they need to go in the palette they're not magnetic so I think that kind of the way they make you get the palette however that being said when you buy I think it's when you buy four or when you buy eight the little palette is free and they're a dollar off so I think if you buy four or eight I don't know if you had a bigger discount if you buy more but if you buy four I think they were seven dollars each so it's not bad I got these four shades this one is called Peru Clay. This one is Sienna Dust. This one is Giza Stone. And then this one over here is Purple Topaz. I just kind of picked all the colors that were calling out to me. They had a big swatch selection. Swatch them. They seemed really buttery and creamy. They are 2.2 grams, which is 0.7 ounces. So this is an Anastasia shadow and this is 1.6 grams and I believe it retails for $16 Canadian so you obviously get like a lot of shadow for your money. The body shop I think doesn't get as enough credit as it needs to for the quality of products at the price that they get. A lot of my favorite skincare and body products are body shop products. But I really wanted to try their eyeshadows. Um, I haven't really dipped too much into their makeup, but these really kind of called out to me. So I just wanted to do a super simple eye look using these and give you guys a first impression. First thing I'm gonna do is take the Peru Clay, and this was the one that really called my name. I'm really into kind of cool, neutral shadows. So right off the bat, there is quite a bit of powder that comes off the top. I noticed that when I was swatching them, they're super pigmented, but they are quite powdery. And I'm just gonna take that Peru Clay and just go in the crease. They do have fairly good pigmentation. And I don't have to try very hard to move it around. So it's super blendable. And there's definitely a little bit of fallout on that one. I like though that I like barely have to use any pressure and it moves around quite well. And I'm just gonna wipe my brush off and then just make sure that it's blended out. So with this eye, I didn't get any fallout. So I think the trick is to make sure that you've really tapped your brush off and made sure that the majority of like the loose excess on your brush is gone. I am just gonna take blow that off, the purple topaz and I'm gonna put that kind of in my crease, but just kind of focus it in the outer V. That one's a lot more subtle. These are kind of my kind of the level of shadow pigmentation that I really like. I like shadows that you can go in and build. They're not like super pigmented right away because I feel like things can go wrong pretty damn fast if something is super pigmented and you kind of put it in even slightly the wrong place. And I am just going to take the Sienna Dust, which is this one. And I'm gonna put that kind of in the inner corner and up in my crease, just because it's a little bit shimmery. There is a lot of like powder associated with these shadows, but usually when you get super powdery shadows, you don't have too much pigmentation, but they're still nicely pigmented. That one's really nice and pigmented. It does have a little bit of glitter in it, but it's less glittery and more of a sheen. That's what I'm gonna go with. And for all over my lid, I'm gonna use the Giza Stone color and just a flat shader brush. I'm just going to pop some mascara on. I'm gonna curl my lashes first. Monk, you're fine. And I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I have been really liking this mascara lately. So that 
that is the finished look. It's nice and soft. I don't think any of their shadows are going to be too intensely pigmented. You might be able to use them wet and really pack them on. But I really like that they're kind of light and soft and blendable and buildable. So since I wasn't doing any liner, I didn't want to do anything like super intense and out there. But this is perfect kind of going to work look. Um, nothing too crazy. Yeah. I'm really happy with the shadows that I picked out and I'll definitely purchase some more just because the price point is so amazing. Yeah, I'm digging it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression. So let me know in the comments below if you've tried these eyeshadows and what you think of them. These are the first ones that I've purchased and typically from color to color formula varies a little bit. So I'm interested to see kind of from what color to what color the formula is different. I hope you guys are having a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video so I know that you're watching and like what I do and I hope to see you in the next video and have a great day.